Hello everyone, Scott with Aiden James Customs here and I'm going to show you on this 4Runner how to install our new AJC gear plate for the 4Runners without the sliding cargo tray and without the third row. This is the one with the standard floor with just the two tie-down uh, tie hooks in the front and you'll need some uh, tools, a flathead screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench. You can use a hand wrench or you can use the, the guns like I like to use, I like to make it easy with power. First, you'll take your two stick nuts that we provide. Just slide them back here at the tail. Right around kind of along the lines of the tie hook down here, you'll end up adjusting it as we get going. Then what you'll do is you'll grab your flathead screwdriver and your drill. Go up the front and you're gonna remove those two tie downs. On the back side, you'll pop up the clip or the cover. You'll then take your 10 millimeter, loosen it up, pull it off, and you end up popping this panel up. Next, you will take your gear plate and set it on the back. Then in the supplied hardware, we give you two 10 millimeter bolts that have washers on them. You will come up to the front, line up your holes, and thread those in. And at the back, you take another set of those and you find your stick nuts back here. You may have to realign them because they may not be in the right spot for the back. And if you look down the hole, you can kind of see where the nut is. One. There's two. Now what you'll do is you'll end up screwing all those down, tightening them up, and you will be good to go. Then you can go ahead and mount any of your uh, fridge slides that we currently have fit for this, which is the Dometic 50 and 65, the 75 and 95, as well as the Jumbo slide from Timbo Tusk. More slides will be coming soon as they come to us so we can build the, the mounting holes in there. So if you have a slide that you want to get mounted on here, just come reach out to us and we'll uh, make it happen. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.